All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick one. I was just uh, meditating while I was driving. And, uh, you know, so so much going on. You know, you have uh, uh, this this uh, rumor of war, which is World War Three. You have the things that's taking place. You know, Iran, well, Trump killed one of the commanders, top commandos, you know, of Iran, second in command, I believe. And now Iran done... You know, uh, they let off a strike, you know, on two uh, U.S. bases in, in uh, what was that, Saudi Arabia, I guess, you know, out there in the eastern part of the world. And um, today you had Trump. He did a response to the attack that Iran did. And he's basically saying that, you know, uh, no casualties, no Americans were killed. You know, and this all is a fucking game, man. I'm sitting there watching this speech and I'm just getting mad. Like, come on, man. Like, this is a fucking game, man. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, with the understanding and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, you come back to your thoughts and your, you know, your righteous thoughts to know that this is the Lord's movie, man. And this is the way the Lord got it, got it playing out. You know, you know, it's, it's a uh, tension, man. Now, who to say what Trump would do now? It seems like he ain't gonna do nothing, you know? <laughs> but just for Phil's prophecy, I have to uh, I think of the scripture, uh, Habakkuk, and I'm just gonna get it real quick because I don't wanna make a rent. So I can, but, you know, just wanna get it. This is, uh, and I've been grabbing the same scriptures all week, but it is what it is. This is um, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 I will stand upon my watch And set me upon the tower And I will watch to see what he will say unto me And what I shall answer when I reprove And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said Write the vision and make it plain upon tables That he may run that read of it Now here's the point For the vision is yet for an appointed time But at the end it shall speak and not lie Though it tarry wait for it Because it will surely come It will not Terry and that's what came in mind and the comfort you know that was the comfort from watching that bullshit speech Donald Trump did you know you know I was just hoping that he would bring some excitement you know but the Lord's scriptures reign superior man you know the vision is yet for an appointed time and at the end it shall speak and not lie it's uh it says uh though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry. And what is that surely come? That surely come is the Lord's prophecies being fulfilled ultimately, you know, and, and the last prophecy that, you know, we want to happen is the deliverance of the elect, you know, which I hope and pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and I'm a part of that, you know, Lord willing, be a part of the elect because that's the whole goal, man. That's why she, it, well, and that's the spirit of the Lord because it ties back into what I want to bring out which is quick and simple, why we got to be humble in this truth, you know, being humble, being lowly, you know, you have, uh, it always those type of men that spring up like a tree, you know, growing taller than all the rest in the knowledge, I should say, I want to just try to paint an example, a picture, you know, it's always these type of men that spring up like a tree in the knowledge and outgrow well, not say grow, outgrow taller. This is an example. Outgrow taller than the rest of the trees, you know? And that tree sticks out because of knowledge, you know? Now, we understand what the scriptures say about knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up. But also, knowledge is one of the things you need in order to see salvation from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But what the scriptures say, the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. And that stability means to be stable in the times in which we're living in because we're approaching Jacob's trouble you know we're approaching where Satan want to shift you like wheat we're approaching the darkest hours you know we're approaching the end of Esau's kingdom man so 
you know, what the scripture say, Ephesians 6, our, our warfare, uh, excuse me, um, spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh, our, uh, ah, let me get it. I'm going to butcher it. just wanted to quote it. But uh, Ephesians chapter 6 and 10. I'll just get to the point. Uh, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God, Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the trickery, see? So, yeah, you know, being humble and um, having knowledge and wisdom will help you be wise, you know, and, to, and, and able to put on the whole arm of Yahweh. The whole arm of Yahweh is this word, you know. It says, ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil because the wiles of the devil is the trickeries that he does, man. Now, mind you, you have demon spiritual, you have the, the, uh, you have demon, you have the spiritual demon, uh, Satan, the, the angel Satan himself. And then you also have his counterpart Esau. Now we know that Satan works for the most high. So Satan is doing his job. The most high is not angry with Satan, Satan. It's his angel on the, his top angel on the left hand side. All right. But the most high do have a problem with these proud Edomites. But just knowing demon spiritual Satan at a time like this, you know, playing the tricks upon your mind. You know, you know, you got them lying spirits that go out. You know, they talk to you and try to tell you you're this and you're that. You got to know whether what spirit you in. You know? You got to know what spirit you in, man. You know, and this is this 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 lesson is for the elect. You know, reprobates and and proud niggas, please get off my page, man. I'm not talking to you. I don't care about y'all. You know, most high, most high is going to deal with y'all, man. And and if you could be reproved then hey. Hey. May you uh, may through the power of the Lord you repent, you know, before the time, before the end. But for the brothers that are in, in the humble and following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the point is we have to be humble, man, and we have to stand against the wiles of the devil, the trickery. It says, "For we wrestle not against flesh and blood." So, you know, physically this is not a physical war with Esau. You know, it's a spiritual war. Because you're fighting against your own mind. You're fighting against, you know, your own flesh and your thoughts. You know, your wicked ways. You know, you are living in sinful flesh. So it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. So we're fighting against spirits. We're fighting against our own thoughts. That's the bigger war. That is the war, you know, because physically, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to fight for us physically against these carnal ass proud devils alright so you know <clears throat> let me uh, get right to it this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and 15 all things have I seen in the days of my vanity now this is King Solomon speaking alright and we know that King Solomon was what a wise man which also we know that spiritually Okay, he was Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, it says, All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in wickedness. All right, and you see that for two thirds. Let me read that again. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. You know, because why? We're in the sinful flesh. This is vanity, man. You know, but what's 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 gain unto us is the works that we do that the most high and Yahweh Shai accounts as righteousness. Remember, our righteousness is as filthy rags. You know, we can't be proud in this sinful flesh. But whatever it, whatever that the Lord delights in and what we do is right, you know, you know, we count that. Well, let's say the Lord would count that as righteousness, okay? So it says there is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness. All right, because why? Eventually, in this sinful flesh, you get old and you die. All right, it says, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness, and and it seems like that. I remember in the world saying like, how the fuck, 
you know, this dude's so wicked or she's so wicked, how they live so long, but the right, but, but, but the good die young, you know, using the terms that the world use, you know, but it's understandable because as Peters tell you, um, that the Lord preserveth the wicked for the day of destruction. All right. So if a man that's wicked and his late, his days be prolonged, just know he's not going unpunished, you know? So anyway, verse 16, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? And that's a key thing. We not can't be over righteous, man. You know, most of the times when you're over righteous is when you first come in, you know, because you want to do everything to the T, you know, which which is, is good because we strive. We're supposed to strive for the perfection, striving, keeping things right, doing things right in the Lord. But you can't be over righteous. You got to know a balance. You know, you have to learn the balance, you know, not just know it, but you have to learn it to know it. You know, and really guys that are over righteous, they don't really have the full understanding, you know, and it goes according to your faith, you know, but you can't push off on other brothers, you know, certain things uh, that you feel as though because you feel like, you know, you want to be more righteous on other brothers when brothers are doing what it is that it, it is for them to do in the Lord, you know. All right, so I can't had to had to make a quick move, but um, just want to get back to where I was at. Let me read the scripture again. So I get it says, "All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous over much." You know, because being righteous over much, it says, neither make thyself over wise. You know, you overthinking things. You know, you're not leaving room, you know, for your how Bahashim Yahawasha, you know, to uh to guide your steps. And you over righteous, you know, you you think that you perfect and that end up that end up, you know, developing pride. You know, and um, you know, once you develop pride, that's a demon in itself, man. So it says, "Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise." And when you over wise, you know, you start to be, you start to think with that forward thought. You know, like it's, it's you. You know, oh, oh, I know, I, oh, 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 I, I know, I know, I'm gonna do that. You know, instead of saying, "Lord willing." You know, you think you're wise enough to handle the situation on your own. You know, that's why I read the scripture in Ephesians, man. That I uh, this this is a spiritual war, you know, with yourself. You know, because in, in the inward part of you, you know, you want the Lord to lead your life and, and, and guide your steps in righteousness, man. So that whatever it is that you do that that's considered righteousness, the most high accepts it. Because you could do a lot of things and the Lord could be like, I ain't accepted none of that. You know, this is the most highest movie, man. We can't tell the Lord what to accept and what to do. You know, the Lord, we, we, we have to uh, please the Heavenly Father, man, by doing what he said to do. We have to please Yahweh Shah by doing what he said to do. You know, and I just wanted, I wanted to kind of like, you know, come at this point in an angle where... You know, it's yourself, you know, it's yourself because you can't blame the most high for you going off straight up, man. Guys are proud, man, you know, and being out of the loop, you know, you boast yourself. And that's why it's a beautiful thing to have brothers, a brotherhood, you know, the brotherhood of GMS. I'm telling you, man, Great Millstone is a true brotherhood, you know, brothers that get on you, brothers are prove you but brothers also show they love you as well you know because it's all for you to do right you know the apostles they show in their works you know that that they are uh those, those brothers man those older brothers that can actually help us young brothers you know to to endure it's about enduring man shit times are changing man seasons are changing the spirits is out to ravish you, man. You know, fuck with your brain, fuck with your mind, man. You know.
you know, mess you up. <laughs> All it takes is a few thoughts, a few whispers in your ear, you know, and then you might see something the wrong way. You see something, but then you looking at it and examining it wrong. You got the wrong perspective. You know, you out of line. You're not in order. You know, this truth is scary, man. It's scary because the most high can put a lying spirit on you, man. He can use a guy, a, a man, a brother that you call a brother to put something in your ear, plant a seed, you know, and now this and now you're a part of <laughs> you know, you you're a part of that uh that 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 uh that haterade. You got that haterade in you, man. You know, when you ain't even know the brother. You know, now you start hating. What the fuck you hating for? You know, you want to have a, a free mind, a free spirit, man. Like Paul, like uh, David said, man. Created me a clean heart. A clean heart, you could breathe better, man. You wake up, you, you do the works, you be happy. Like, you did the works. You be excited, man. You know, can't wait to put more work out. Can't wait for the Lord to tell me what it is that I should do. You know, standing upon your watch. That's what we do, man. I'm telling you, man. Literally, man. I'm telling you. Brothers, brothers, wait to see what the Lord will say unto them, you know, and then brothers report. Brothers make it plain upon tables, man, you know, they make it plain upon tables and they and they write the report, you know, in this, in this age, we're, we're doing videos, you know, so that you can understand, but it's up to you to listen, and really, it's only the elect that's going to actually listen, you know, and get it, you know, so... Let me continue this and I'll wrap it up. It says, be not um, over much, excuse me, be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Because you destroy yourself. It's just like if you eat too much honey, you know, we all know honey can have, you know, great properties for the body. It can heal the body, nourish the body. But if you eat it too much, you're going to hurt yourself, man. Guess what? The properties that it give, it ain't gonna give no more because your body's immune to it. You know? So how much more the word? The word is like honey. Too much honey, you'll throw up, man. You know, too much. You know, you start getting beyond yourself. You know, who the hell you think you are? You know? And you know, brothers, this is all through the spirit. Me watching the videos and seeing this character, you know, that dude out there. I don't know, we at Europe, I think, you know, and um, that group, that shit is crazy, you know, you got, a, you got this uh, hype man on the side doing all that extra stuff to to push the word, you don't need that stuff, just do what the apostles taught us to do, and just teach, that's that's it, all that other extra gimmicks and all that shit, that shit whack, man, that shit is ass, just teach, man, you know, word up, it's time to grow up. Get out of that shit. When you're young in the spirit, you want to make the nicest garment. You know, you want to put all this on there. You want to want the dope, want the nice fringes, want the matching type, you know. But after a while, you be in this truth, man. You just, hey, give me a garment so I can teach, you know. Put your garment on, sackcloth, and just go. Just teach, put the word in it. And it feels good because you can feel when you're bringing out those scriptures and brothers are gelling with each other in the camp. And this brother got a precept. This brother want to interject. That's a beautiful feeling. You can feel the Lord with you, man. You can feel the Lord. You know? You can feel the Lord. You know, like, wow, you know, brothers are really, you know, on time, on beat. Like, this this message is going out. And that's all we got to do. So, you know, don't be over-righteous, man. That over-righteous shit will get you destroyed. <laughs> and it is. It's going to destroy a lot of men. You know? You know? Trying to do something different that anybody else ain't doing. Listen, man, you're not going to bring your Howard shot quicker by you trying to do something different. By you trying to come up with something different. The Yahweh shot ain't coming no faster just for you. We all want Yahweh shot to come quick tomorrow, now. But guess what? You trying to be extra, trying to do something different and thinking that you special ain't going to bring the Lord no quicker, man. That goes for you women, too, that want to be teachers and all that. When you first come in, you learn this word. Women, women, you know, they hear, they hear the word. They, they got them a husband, you know, which they should be quiet, you know, shut up. But then you want to start making your own YouTube videos and you want to start teaching and you want to say something. And 
listen, man. <laughs> you ain't bringing the Lord no faster. What's going to bring the Lord faster is Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. And that's through the prophecies being fulfilled, man. That's it. So it's either learn his word, get in the body, and play your life. That's it. Ain't nothing else. All that extra stuff. What did again, you know, Lord has these things happening because everybody's playing their part. Like the brother Kalab in the camp. You know, he made a good point last Saturday. You know, everybody got to play their part, man. You got your renegade Israelites. You got your, you know, well, <laughs> Sakari, <laughs> you know, which is scripture, you know. You got your, you know, carnal Israelites. You got your spiritual prophets. You got your false prophets. You know, it is what it is, man. Um, so I hope this lesson was edifying. Lord willing to the whole four elect. Uh, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.